Hey, what's going on guys? Today we've got a bit of an in-depth analysis of the RX 480 versus the GTX 1060 post-launch and it's looking pretty brutal for the RX 480 and DX11. It's better in DX12 and Vulcan though, right? Let's get started. Before we get started, there's a Steam Key giveaway for Mafia 2 that I'm hosting over on Gleam.io and if you want a chance at winning that key and helping me start other giveaways like Battleborn or other big Steam titles, go and check out the link in the description. Alright, back to GPUs. So a user over on the Nvidia subreddit made a pretty crazy post which combined GTX 1060 and RX 480 benchmarks into one large Excel file. And I'm going to link to the reddit post in the description below, but I'm only going over the Excel file in this video. At first glance we get all the biggest benchmarks like Doom, Rise of the Tomb Raider, Hitman, Ashes of the Singularity, Time Spy, the whole deal. Then going down we have a large list of games. In DX12 Hitman we see on average the GTX 1060 has a performance decrease of 9.63% against the RX 480 with there being at most a 15% difference at the high end of this and 2% on the low end. One site, Babel Tech Reviews, actually comes out with the GTX 1060 over the RX 480 with an 8% increase. Time Spy shows the GTX 1060 beating the RX 480 in all three reviews provided here, yet two of them are near or far below a 1% increase and Guru3D shows a 6% increase in performance. Rise of the Tomb Raider shows the GTX 1060 having an average performance increase of 23% and every review shows the GTX 1060 win. In Ashes of the Singularity DX12, the GTX 1060 comes ahead in 7 out of 12 benchmarks provided here by around 5% except for one done by Kit Guru where the GTX 1060 had a lead of 23% which is 15% ahead of the next best GTX 1060 benchmark here. Lastly is Quantum Break and Total War Warhammer, where the RX 480 comes out ahead in both games, not losing to the 1060 once in DX12, and the only benchmark for Quantum Break was Hardware Canucks with a 10% increase in performance over the 1060. So if we take out Hitman and Rise of the Tomb Raider, which are heavily optimized for AMD or NVIDIA, we end up with AMD winning Quantum Break and Total War Warhammer, then NVIDIA winning Ashes of the Singularity. We know Pascal performs and performs well in DX12, just not as well as AMD. And we see here just that. Hopefully in the future things look up for AMD now that we're going to have all kinds of DX12 titles like Watch Dogs 2, Civ 6, Battlefield 1, Deus Ex and more. I'm not going to go one by one with DX11 games because there's just too much of them, but I'll have this video here to show you many of them. Long story short, the GTX 1060 wins most games over the RX 480. The 1060 actually wins 39 of the 44 DX11 titles listed here, which is a clear win in my opinion. Most games, the GTX 1060 is ahead by around 10% at least, with the estimated average performance for DX11 is 14%. Ashes of the Singularity, Battlefield 4, Project Cars, Thief, World of Warcraft all showed a 30% performance increase in DX11 with the GTX 1060 over the RX 480. If you plan on playing Project Cars in particular often, then you should go with the GTX 1060 hands down because this game actually showed a 50% increase in both benchmarks it was featured in. Yikes. I've said this in my previous videos and I'll say it again. The GTX 1060 is your card if you plan on playing all the DX11 titles. I will most likely go with it because I'm really behind with games. I just bought Dark Souls 2, Dying Light, and Tomb Raider 2013. I even plan on waiting for Fallout 4 Game of the Year Edition. I can wait. But maybe you're looking at buying every new game from here on out. If those games are DX12 or Vulcan, you should buy an RX 480. That's the end of it, sadly. AMD isn't as good as Nvidia and DX11, but they will age better with time. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. Remember if you want to join the Mafia 2 giveaway, the Gleam IO link will be in the description below. If you want to see more content like this, then go ahead and subscribe and drop a like to show your support. If you hated my voice or something, please drop a dislike and comment down below on what you'd like to see improved. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great weekend.